to you. So we might get to know initiatives we haven't seen before. There might be some big names you have heard before. But what we're actually aiming for is basically to have you, you guys' <coughs> opinion on what of all what you're seeing here is actually necessary and useful for you as a fintech company, as a potential founder or as a founder. This is basically the context of the whole evening. Uh, well, the program is pretty simple as well then. There will be 10 initiatives pitching, and also this goes to the presenters. It's 10, so we will have five minutes, and only five minutes. We basically have that a couple of times before. He has a very huge smartphone, and we'll have a timer on that one. <laughs> so, you guys will be able to see the time that you're having after five minutes. We will cut off. Then it will be three minutes of Q&A, just like two quick questions. What comes to the audience mind first? And then we go on. Because maybe even more important, at least as important as the pitches, will be the discussion we're having afterwards. Because then we would like to have anybody who presented getting involved with the audience here, basically discussing what really suits our needs what else would we be wishing for? Which other questions do we have concerning the concepts presented? So one more very, very important thing. Big thank you to Wirtschaftsförderung Frankfurt and Frankfurt Economic Development. Those are the guys who are sponsoring beers and pizza. <laughs> and well, we turn out to be some more people than we were used to have here. So if the drinks are gone, our hosts are selling drinks to very start of friendly fries. It's just around the corner, so no one has to actually stay thirsty afterwards. And well, if you guys are hungry, I have the number of those really good pizza here around the corner. But tell me. So something to add from your side, please. Just two small points. So first of all is um, listen carefully because we expect you to ask some critical questions and after all, vote for the initiatives which have been presented to you. So the question of the night is gonna be, what will be the most value-adding concept if you would be the next FinTech startup founder and would need to decide which initiative to pick to apply for your startup? So that's basically the key question you're trying to answer. So there's gonna be a vote of the audience here so take your points um, from the presentations, ask critical questions. So this is really your chance. You should not hesitate. Um, and the second point, um, again, um, I can only say thank you that so many of you have shown up tonight. Um, this is actually the biggest uh, meetup we have had so far. So thanks a lot. Um, and yeah, looking forward to a great night. Thanks. Only one very last point to add. There's our Twitter handle, feel free. Mm -hmm. And well, if you want to share also the Periscope link for Startup Radio, so people can enjoy everything that will be presented here to actually have made it to the agenda, I think we should close the door downstairs. Well, please share it. Okay, um, we will actually go on in, a con in alphabetical order. So, Accelerator Frankfurt actually with an A. <laughs> 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 and that will be your final.
five minutes, let me try to get your presentation up. It's a, it's a good name, actually, because I get your undivided attention now. So it's very good. Sounds like accelerator frame. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a presenter. Oh, I just press the space. You have to do those Okay, but uh, many people have told me to start the accelerator in Berlin. But uh, I mean, having you crowd here, I think we can prove them uh, otherwise. Uh, accelerator Frankfurt. Uh, before I start talking about the accelerator, who am I? What am I? Uh, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm 40 years old. Uh, I skateboard. I love big wave surfing and I can hold my breath for as long as this presentation. For almost five minutes underwater. Um, why am I telling you this? It's because I think the business we're in now, these startups, is all about people. And let me tell you about uh, my dream. I went and pursued my dream after my army service of becoming a professional surfer. So I gave up everything, bought myself a small car with a small bed, joined the European Surfing Association, and uh, tried my luck there. Uh, long story short, I have only five minutes, I failed. And I've had a lot of these things also. That's not me, by the way. Uh, <laughs> so uh, um, I went on to uh, get my bachelor's and then my master's, and during my master's uh, degree, I joined with... Uh, two other colleagues and we started our software business. It was called Solutions for Online Business, svolb.com. And uh, very early on, I made my first exit. And what I mean by exit, I literally just got up and left. Uh, <laughs> yes. So uh, unfortunately for my colleagues, it took them two more years to come to the same conclusion. Uh -huh. Uh, the company was heading in the wrong direction, um, and I'm glad I exited early. And this is very, a very important lesson uh, that, that I learned. Um, it's okay to fail. 90% of the startups will fail. Uh, so when you fail, try to do it early rather than spending two years of your life and a lot of money to find out that the concept doesn't work. Um, also, talking about passionate people. Uh, during my surfing career, I did meet a lot of passionate people. And this is why I love startups. I meet here passionate people, and I meet people that are not afraid to take a calculated risk. Calculated risk, not stupid risks, OK? <laughs> um, so Accelerator Frankfurt, uh, three things that founders seek. Basically, product support, business support, and connections to capital. We've teamed uh, with Israeli accelerators, two very prominent Israeli accelerators, uh, as well as in the, the whole Israeli community. I'm Israeli, I, brought, I bring in the whole Israeli sides to it. Uh, and using their expertise, we're bringing this to Frankfurt, basically. The program itself, it'll take uh, between, at the moment, eight to ten startups. Uh, we could expand depending on demand, uh, but I think the pilot will be around that size. Just four months, four months intensive program, 200 hours of consulting. Uh, we did team up with big uh, consulting firms, legal firms, digital marketing firms, uh, plus the whole mentors that are coming from Israel. And uh, the mentors in Israel actually did real exits, not the one I did. So, <laughs> so that's, that's really good. These guys are actually a few steps ahead of you founders. And they, they could really uh, provide good feedback. Um, where was I now? OK, so the ideal team, you want to apply for Accelerator Frankfurt, you should be at least two founders. It could be three. And you should be web entrepreneurs. So, FinTech, cybersecurity, I don't want to limit it to FinTech. Cybersecurity is welcome, any high tech is welcome. We're, we are open to, 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 to suggestions. Um, you should be past the idea stage. Uh, you don't need a business plan, but at least you know that you have an idea, you pass that stage, you've tested it, you have mock-ups perhaps, um, and then you have the potential to scale internationally. So I, I, I did hear a lot of good ideas, but without scaling internationally, we, we can't make the big exits, basically. So, uh, and at least one founder has to have the technical 
technical skills, strong technical skills. This we found that... Uh, no worries. We, we, we found basically that without the strong technical <laughs> skills in-house, it can get costly and time-consuming, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. One very important, what you give us in return. We're asking, the, the package that we put is about 35,000 euros for worth of services. So we need to self-sustain ourselves. We're asking 4% equity from your company. We'll be silent partners, not managing partners, but you need to understand that you're getting all our network, and this gives us and the sponsors every, every uh, reason to make you succeed, because that 4% will be worthless if you fail. <coughs> so, that's it. Yep. We need all to nourish the ecosystem. There's going to be some very good speakers here, and we need to cooperate. And this is very important. This is our goal, basically. We nourish the ecosystem in Frankfurt and not have to move to Berlin. <laughs>
impact label on it. That's we are. Um, to learn to learn from the community. And number yeah. two, if you're opening a customer base to my product, we want to have equity for that also outside of equity. Okay, I will answer the first one. Um, of course, we are a bank and we will have a slight focus on fintech, but uh, there are some other topics that are very interesting for us, for example, predictive analytics. Of course, we are a tech company as a direct bank, as a retail bank as well, and we are looking for those uh, business models too. Um, it depends on what kind of cooperation, uh, cooperation we both uh, below one. Okay, and this was in the time range of how many months? Uh, about 11 weeks. question also to, to uh, maybe not for the mind creator only but uh, for the commerce and group because commerce and group of course is in uh, London, New York, Singapore, so Poland. Poland, yeah, but it's our sister, the M Bank, uh, trading bank. Um, of course, we can go with the national if you would, uh, would like to. By the way, we have more time for questions later on. Thank you very much, Marit, very much. Marit. Marcos will present no one less than our very host, Dizentrale, and we'll tell you guys why it would be very valuable for you to sit here starting a startup. Hey, good evening. Uh, so I, I won't, won't probably had the shortest uh, walk or uh, travel to this uh, this event because my office is just <coughs> over there. So I'm a co-worker here at Centrale Co-working Space and I just want to tell you a little bit about this location and why it's it's something you can also use. There are incubators that give you money or consulting and a co-working space gives you a network and a home. So in, in Frankfurt it's, it's incredibly tough to find housing and uh, a cheap, uh, of office space and um, a co-working space like Centrale gives you this just starting from 90 euros per month but this can be your central location where you can start your business and start working alone or with your team we have enough room for those we have meeting rooms but we are a network of professionals here that have been working here sometimes for years and we are specialized in doing marketing for tuna for instance or we have 3D animators here, or I myself, I, I used to be a CTO for a FinTech. So you will be working in a room or in, in a space that's full of, well, information, you get it for free. You just sit in a hangout, back there, have a coffee, and find someone to talk about your problems. And, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, we, we, we do regular um, uh, brunches, for instance, and it's, it's easy to just say, okay, I have a problem, and I need someone to help me with legal stuff, with, I don't need a translation, we have people from Lithuania, we have people from Norway here, so um, that's all just a walk away, and that's, that's why it's great for me uh, to work at a, at a co-working space, and the, the difference between um, Centrale and many other places here that rent out desks is is the team that run this place. So it's Jenny and Lucas and Roberto who are here every day. And they are not some like person sitting at a desk and taking your calls, but they become part of your what? Your family that is here and they will they will make your day just nice. So it's, it's, uh, I, I encourage you to just come here maybe another day and see how the space looks, if you can actually see the walls. And um, just come check it out. We have great coffee. We have Fritz Cola, Club Mate, and uh, yeah. yeah but, but
but that's essential to get working, isn't it? I mean, do, who has to mark at home? Okay, yeah. thanks. Thanks for listening. Anyway. to be here and have company telephone number also here and so on. Yes. And secondly, you mentioned networking. So concretely, how does this work? Like, ah, okay. So uh, first question, yes, you can have your mail address. Your, your company's address can be at this location, given that you have not the nomad plan, but the resident plan. So you, so you intend to actually be here for a while. Um, but that's... That's not guaranteed, but we have companies. If you look down at uh, the entrance, there is uh, the, the mailboxes. We have a lot of companies already here. Yeah. And the second one, how does the networking work? You walk up to people <laughs> and you ask them a question. So th this is not an anonymous place where everyone sticks to itself. We have regular meetups. We have regular meetings only for coworkers. We have coworker drinks. Uh, where, where there's plenty of chance to meet new people that are interesting and you will quickly learn who is specialized in what and because everyone knows someone here it's easy to find someone that solves your problem. Okay, thank you. Thanks for listening. Have a good evening. Yeah, so uh, tonight it's 200. <laughs> but I think we have around, we have about uh, around about 100 people on uh, the client list, but during a regular day, there are around, I think, 10 to 15 people here, and maybe four or five back there. Um, even if this, you don't get a guaranteed place, it's still enough room, and we still have enough tables left over, because not everyone is here all the time. Okay, just, just very quickly to, to make it clear, they were saying starting from 90 euros. It was, yes. it was included for So say I'm, I have a co-founder, we have two people, yeah. and we would want to, to work here. Uh, yeah. How much would it be then? 180? Or yeah, 180. That's it. That's no it. extra cost. No extra cost. Yeah, well, the drinks aren't for free. How much, yeah. are, how much are the residents? The residents are 300. Uh, but it's a big table, and you have 24-7 access. And so you get a lot more amenities there. Um, and you're a real company member, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next on stage, woman who will talk about what the fintech group is actually planning to do in Frankfurt. Sounds good. Yeah, thank you. I am also from Frankfurt. I'm stressing that because we have a fintech lab already in place in Berlin. And we are now opening a, a fintech lab in Frankfurt. Okay. Um, I, this is how you go through it. Um, let, me just, okay. let me just introduce us. Um, fintech group is in Westhafen and um, it's a, a listed company. We have uh, at present uh, roughly 300 million in market cap. Um, we do own a bank, 
meaning that we could pri provide you with uh, um, regulatory, um, uh, um, with, with everything that is necessary for your fintech startup if you want to, if you need any access to a bank. Uh, also, customer support, everything. Um, we also have an IT systems provider. Uh, for example, we are uh, making the transfers for all the German pensioners, uh, 25 million um, every month. And we also have a capital partner. It's called FinTech Lab AG. They're also a listed company. So this is us, and um, we want to provide the first real FinTech-focused uh, um, uh, start, uh, uh, startup accelerator in Germany. Uh, we heard um, about um, you know people who pro provide you with space, uh, people who will provide you with um, expertise, access to a network, and everything, even to a family. Um, what we will provide is <laughs> fintech and cap. So we have the bank, we have the technology people and we have um, a capital partner. So if you come to us, and we, will, we, want, we would like to open it in, in Westhafen, where the headquarters of our, our company is. And um, if you come to us, you can work with all the experts. And we can, um, and the basic idea is to bring your startup uh, from the idea to the marketplace as fast as possible. And uh, we uh, have experts that also um, uh, speak uh, startup language, so um, they, they think like innovative uh, people and they will um, help you with whatever helps you best, be it fin, be it tech, be it cap. And we don't need to uh, take a stake in your company, um, you don't have to buy services from BIW Bank, you don't have to uh, buy uh, uh, services from XCOM, our technologies uh, provider, uh, we are very open. We would like to uh, also encourage other startups uh, uh, and accelerators to join us in this effort to really create an open environment here in Frankfurt. And um, like I said, I'm myself from Frankfurt, and it is also um, uh, something very important <coughs> to me that um, uh, Frankfurt is, 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 is evolving into um, a little bit more of an open sphere. And um, if you want to go to Berlin, uh, we also have a lab there. <laughs> but, uh, please stay here. <laughs> anyway, um, like my, my uh, colleagues from Schnellspesen would say, we have some time left. What's your business model? Our business model, we do um, uh, make a lot of money with um, uh, the same stuff that uh, um, uh, Comdirect is doing. Basically, we have uh, heavy traders uh, buying and selling shares on our um, platform, FlatX. Uh, in no, no, service? No, sorry, I mean, what, what actually, what your like, incubator or like, what, what's your motivation for like, taking a startup? I see. So, um, what we would uh, be interested in is uh, a startup that is um, coming out of the uh, seed phase and maybe, uh, or from the idea stage, and would maybe then later be interested in, in, in buying um, <coughs> some of our services at the uh, W Bank, XCOM, or we would also uh, be investing in some of these. So uh, you may know since Pilot, uh, we have a share and uh, we have a stake in that. In our uh, wider uh, fintech group family, we also cooperate with Ox Money. Um, uh, I mentioned Deposit Solutions already, uh, Savedo, and uh, we want to foster uh, fintechs in Germany so that we can sell our product, essentially. And you know, we know that you can't do it from scratch, so we have to get you to a certain point where you are actually a feasible and viable business. So you're creating your own customers. Come again? So you're creating your own customers. Very much so. Thank you. Um, I think we have one bonus question because uh, I had one and a half minutes left. <laughs> Uh, next question. Um, you are a white labeler. Right. What, why are so many fintech startups working with Sutor Bank and not with you? Maybe they didn't know about us. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, some of um, our startups are working with both. Okay. So um, uh, it already depend always depends on the business model. So just, or just 
one question to, to clarify a bit because what I also get out from the question is maybe you can just briefly explain how to actually apply what's your selection criteria and in return if you accept the startup for this program will you ask any equity share is there anything the startup needs to give in return no not for the time being uh, we can offer everything like uh, we can offer our services we can also uh, um, offer uh, capital um, um, uh, um, um, taking a stake in the company but you don't have to do that and there is no formal um, uh, application process but if you have something in mind come to me uh, see me and I will put you in contact with the right people and you offer office space for an early stage startup or not yes we do we offer space fintech cap network expertise Family, home, <laughs> and Franklin. And do you have to stay already companies in your, in your program? Yes, we do. Um, uh, like I said, we have a lot of uh, 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 company partners. Let me see if I find some of these. We have Ox Money, Octopay, Simplot, uh, Next Markets, uh, Cunip, Crossland, Whitebox, uh, Salido, and they are already uh, uh, partnering with BRW Bank, with Xcom, and um, some are. Some of these are also, um, uh, FinLab is also invested in, in, in some of these. Do you have any structured uh, mentoring program? It really depends on what you, where your needs are. So you come to us with an idea. And so <coughs> some people come from the tech side and they say, um, I don't know anything about banks because I can only program uh, apps. But I have a great fintech idea, so I put you in contact with the BIW uh, expertise uh, uh, experts, and they will tell you uh, what you need to consider, and then they will coach you, banking-wise. And on the other hand, you, contacts, if you come again, you make contacts and then volunteer experts mentor your yes, okay. yes, and we are not. Um, so to say that we're not a startup garage; we are more like the machine room. You know, you really come to us to work. And um, that will be too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Our next guest here, I'm pretty sure he had the longest travel to get here. He flew from Hong Kong this morning, I think. After spending some time there presenting Frankfurt FinTech in Hong Kong, before that in South Korea, if I'm correctly. And now, welcome on stage, Sebastian Schäfer, who is the head of the Goethe Univator and will present this initiative to you guys. experiences and go one step further, what we, what we observe is um, a verticalization of, of topics and FinTech is one topic where Goethe University is very strong and it's the House of Finance and um, all the financial expertise at the economics department. Um, but um, we used to do like more academic programs, we now want to open it up, we want to professionalize it, uh, we want to get uh, sponsors into it um, and uh, make it uh, more of an also commercial model. Um, so now you know a little about me. Uh, just a few, uh, a few questions uh, to you. So who is FinTech actually? Who's the founder? Mm -hmm. Okay. So who of you would really consider like uh, uh, joining a program <coughs> and an accelerator program? <coughs> okay. <laughs> because that's important, right? Um, uh, like uh, who you're talking to is. And um, let me show uh, you a couple of slides um, that might. Uh, make uh, those of you um, who want to join um, such a program uh, even more interesting. So 
So we see ourselves as a partner for the first round. So one, one important thing is like the mentors. We know that the most uh, um, like uh, successful programs um, have exciting mentors, high quality network of mentors, and um, we like put a lot of effort into um, talking to uh, many exciting people, serial founders, investors, uh, but also partners um, to join our program, which will be also um, valuable uh, for the fintech world. Strong partners. So I said we we're an academic incubator. We want to expand it. We want to have um, sponsors on board. We're talking to a lot of people at the moment, and uh, we have um, already um, like attracted quite a lot of interesting um, partners. Among them, uh, from banking, insurance, and family office, and, um, but also um, first talk of regulation, media, software, and of course academia. Uh, what we offer, and this is like the part that Good University provides, is like uh, the infrastructure. So, a pink tag lab. So this is like meant uh, as an an exploring field, to, be able to to create data, to test data. So for those of you who are uh, driving or are looking for a data-driven approach to um, building your product, but also to um, to validate your business model, this would be uh, the right place um, to be. An international network. Um, of course, Group University is uh, very well connected in the world, um, but uh, we also started uh, recently with the University to connect um, with uh, many <coughs> other interesting startup hubs. Uh, we had common conferences, um, but also like, like bilateral uh, relations, for example, with Tel Aviv. Um, Belgrade, which is an, an interesting uh, developer hub. Paris, Lisbon, Vienna, Seoul, it's quite uh, recently, it's, it's actually pronounced Seoul, and, and, and London. And we have a top location. It's not the university, uh, but it's investment. Which is, uh, <laughs> 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 Let me briefly talk about uh, some of the uh, program structure. So basically, um, the program structure will be kind of flexible. Because thinking about like sponsored topics yeah, is a real focus, and then more open topics depending uh, depending on the um, on the partners at hand. But what they will um, all have is like part office, yeah, representative office, um, some education depending on the batch, um, a lab, as I said, mentoring access to industry partners to <coughs> test also ideas. So we have uh, some commitments that um, like startups can test uh, um, like um, um, established um, client relations and investor matching. And that's maybe interesting uh, in all the other programs that are working quite well. We want to provide a non-refundable startup grant for 25K with our aim to really get you into a first round investment where we would uh, take it successfully. And depending on how successful we are, we can think about broadening the program. Yeah. Um, but this is it. Um, we have, you, you can contact me, there will be also some more information soon on really fintech in the front of the I was really wondering why this domain wasn't. Uh, Startups, uh, some of them was uh, quite uh, quite a lot of success. I must say, um, we have uh, a lot of alumni, um, a lot of uh, interesting startups at the moment. Some of them um, joined like already the new locations; they're um, sitting there. But for the new program, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, like like mag like um, open up the deal flow, so it will be international. So this is why also our connections, you know. Um, around the world matter because we want to attract uh, the most interesting um, startups that, that are somehow seeing some benefit being here for um, four months plus um, to, um, yeah, to test.
test uh, with uh, the right, uh, uh, right partners. So you mean that the four months is actually the accelerated part, and the four months they allow to stay in premises or? Yeah. Because normally it doesn't work that, that fast. <laughs> How do you apply? So um, that will be um, like we are planning to launch the program um, summer, this summer, and there will be like uh, an online uh, online application. We will have a board. So I didn't talk about the team. Um, so um, we are very much um, um, like emphasizing the point that we, we have to be professional. So there will be a board yeah, um, with uh, very experienced investors. Done that for, uh, for many years. Uh, we will have some some serial entrepreneurs who will uh, join us, um, and uh, we have uh, Professor Hakatal as uh, uh, head of FinTech or the uh, academic representative is um, also like uh, uh, joining. So um, Astrid, this this is really really fantastic to hear. It's going to help actually the whole ecosystem. Um, I've heard earlier. Uh, they say, oh, just another accelerator. There's many accelerators, choose a program. Correct me if I'm wrong, is there any other accelerator in Frankfurt? Apart from accelerators. At the moment? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say so. There's no. But again, I think the, um, the previous uh, <laughs> presenter, he, he uh, emphasized the point, and, and I really, am, I, I would like to emphasize it too. I think it's a, it's a matter of how um, people will now uh, work together. And where I see a, a big gap is in how we can provide, you know, like for the whole value chain. I think, you know, this is the first part, yeah? But there might be a need for, you know, like uh, the second, third part of them. We need to um, have some, some better um, offers and, and programs that, that, that are there. So I think if we manage to, you know, like, like put these uh, pieces together, then I think have a, a functioning uh, ecosystem. And I think, you know, those two points you said, you're working with uh, Tel Aviv, uh, Ram is working with Absolutely. Tel Aviv. I mean, Tel Aviv has like 70 accelerators, so it doesn't mean that you don't, you should have many accelerators. I mean, it's only good to have uh, more, more players in, in the market. I think it's, it's excellent that we hope hear so many yep. initiatives today. Unfortunately, I missed your part in the beginning. Someone recorded it. Thanks a lot. And thank you very much and so for the I hope Sebastian will be around a little bit longer, so feel free to address him later. Next on stage, Max. He will present to you what the Gründer Maschine is trying to do here in Frankfurt. sure if that's the correct label but sometimes you need a label just for people to, to make you connect with anything um, so what are we doing we say we are yeah, a pre-seed incubator for fintechs based in, in Frankfurt um, and when we say pre-seed we mean like uh, like uh, people with, with who, who already um, have conceptualized their idea so it should be a bit more than just um, standing under the shower and say hey I have a great idea um, but something a bit more concrete, and then you should come to us, um, speak to us, and challenge your conception. Uh, when we have like pitches, um, we usually have around two, two hours, um, and we invite some of our partners, um, which is a, a kind of fronting bank, an, an attorney, um, some, some uh, technical experts, and then we just start to discuss your business concept. And basically, um, that's our mode of operation for all the time. Um, we want to help you as, as founder to develop your idea. Um, not, our impact shouldn't be too strong, but we should, should <coughs> develop your idea and challenge it on a regular basis um, by speaking to some experts. And depending on your needs, um, 
we, we can offer you different things like funding, mentoring, we have a location, um, we can offer you concrete support and, and different business functions and also um, set up a net network to, to different parties. Um, and, our, and the aim of our what we call program is that within 16 weeks you are able to present an MVP with which you can target some, some customers already. Um, and when you grow older and, and um, scale a lot, then um, we are also able to help you with funding. And if I speak about we, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the correct one. Um, basically, that's our three founders. Um, we have Adrian. Usually, people only see me um, because he's based in, in London and he has some other business to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, what what combines us is that um, three years ago we started um, to work at Talentspiele. Um, basically, Stefan in the middle um, on Talentspiele three years ago, um, which is an IT consultancy and banking. And we scaled up to about 70 employees right now. And as this consultancy is mainly active in, in banking IT, and we thought about, hey, what else can we do? Um, we said, okay, FinTech might be the, the market to go, because when you, when you are already in banking IT, you have a network to, to all those players. And um, oh, I'm confused with this one. Um, so what, what we are offering um, to start up this first office space, we got an office in uh, Schleusenstraße, which is quite close to the central station, um, has about 200 square meters, and currently we have like like 20 workstations over there. Um, as for example, if you want to visit it, um, come to Startup Grind tomorrow, which is in this location. Uh, and um, when we, we are invested in your startup, we would say that within the four, first four months, um, office space should be for free, but thereafter we might negotiate about rent, so there's not, not really a fixed <coughs> price, but depends on your negotiation skills. Um, <laughs> we offer some mentoring, of course. As I said, we have a network in two banks, and two IT experts, to, to some uh, marketing <coughs> guys, all the stuff. Um, we are able to invest up to, to 50K in the first stage, but also, that depends on your needs, and usually I would say try to keep this amount rather small um, as mm -hmm. in the early stage, funding is rather expensive, although we say we are um, above, uh, below 10% below of equity, of course. Um, moreover, we can help you with some accounting, so the setup and all the stuff. Um, we have, as I said, uh, IT experts, also with some, some developers um, who are in our network and usually have time to do some, some more stuff. Um, from the from the IT consultancy, the the main thing we need to have in order to be successful um, is a good recruiting. So we are also able to offer this to you and help you with with, with that one. And when we speak about later stage, um, as I said, we would be happy to help you to build your equity story to raise some more funding um, and and to get this. And now, if you are asking for what kind of fintechs we are looking, then when you, for example, look to the to the fintech map from Andre and Viola, then you say that banks are, uh, or fintechs are clustered rather like typical so banks. Yeah. So what what we are more looking is for some fintechs that may target a market um, that is unserved by banks, perhaps because it's too small, perhaps yeah, it's just too expensive for them, but still worth going. And the other kind of fintechs we are mainly looking for are those that that basically rethink these structures and, and would like to, to build something new. So basically that's it. Um, thanks for your attention and I'm happy to hear your questions. <laughs>
um, and, and say it doesn't make too much sense, at least from, from our viewpoint, um, to have a fixed program and say now you need to do this and then that, but all, all startups are different and so we, we try to cope with this. And your budget comes from the rents you take or are you financed by somebody else? Yeah, by this consultancy, um, has a rather stable cash flow and um, we, we have them as our main investor behind us. And what are their plans? Are they going to increase your budget? Are you going to increase your basis? Or <coughs> what is the um, perspective? Cur currently, we are trying to use the budget. Um, as I said, we are right now not, not invested. So we are still, still looking for some investment targets. Um, and then, yeah, we, we will see uh, how it happens and how it develops. Um, it's not, not set in stone. We are rather happy with the office space, so I don't think that we want to scale this um, right now, at least. Um, but yeah, we'll see as it comes. What is the vision for Good Energy? Why are you doing, why are you doing this incubation, or what do you call it? Um, for me, myself, I mean, it's just, not just, but, but it's, a, it's a rather interesting market fintech, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, for all those partners that take part, they are either like a fronting bank to get some, some charges or perhaps some, some shares later on. Um, but also those IT consultancies um, always need to know what, what are the top-notch topics in banking um, just to serve their clients well on the other hand side. And so that's, that's their mo main motivation. Okay, I'd say thank you very much, Max. Das wollte man genau nicht haben. 
Äh, aber Spaß beiseite. Also wir haben diese Sachen, aber was ist eigentlich unser, unser größtes USP? Ähm, dadurch, dass wir angelehnt sind äh, an eine Großbank, können wir auf die Ressourcen einer Großbank zugreifen. Das heißt, wir haben glaube ich allein 800 Leute äh, im Kreuz, wir haben, äh, also die Commerzbank hat die mit die größte äh, Rechtsabteilung in Deutschland. <lacht> 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 schärfsten Leute, die auf Compliance-Themen gucken, auf irgendwelche Angelegenheiten gucken. Das sind Themen, die kann man gar nicht abdecken als Startup alleine, das funktioniert nicht. Kein Vorwurf, aber es ist einfach so, weil die Thematik viel zu komplex ist. Wir haben im Mittelstandsbankenbereich, da haben wir unseren Hauptfokus drauf, also wir gucken auf die IT-Geschäft. Wir haben, glaube ich, 3.000 oder 4.000 Vertriebsleute. Damit ist verbunden, ja, wenn wir uns beteiligen an einem Startup, dann öffnen wir auch die Zugänge zu unseren Kunden. Sprich, cooles Produkt, cooler Service, dann schicken wir unsere Salesforce raus. Und äh, das kann sich normalerweise kein Startup leisten, äh, 3.000 bis 4.000 Saleskräfte äh, mal für eine Soundingphase etc. Äh, zu heiern. Das stellen wir zur Verfügung. Was heißt das genau? Das heißt, äh, rund äh, eine Million oder knapp über eine Million Corporate Clients äh, und das heißt 14 Millionen äh, Retail-Kunden. Also es ist ein absolutes Brett, ja, wenn es ein gutes Produkt gibt und wir beteiligt sind, dann machen wir das riesengroß. Das Netzwerk stellen wir zur Verfügung und äh, ich glaube, es gibt auch die eine oder andere Beteiligung, die vorher sehr, sehr skeptisch waren, als wir überlegt haben, dass ein DAX-Unternehmen sich beteiligt und die Angst hatten, äh, dass wir das Ganze langsam machen. Äh, wir haben die glücklicherweise vom Gegenteil überzeugen können und die sind ziemlich happy. Was haben wir noch gemacht in der Zeit? Also außer Beteiligung und äh, den Beteiligungen zu helfen. Wir haben 20. 20 Sekunden. Wir haben auch ein Ökosystem mit angestoßen, dass sich das entwickeln kann. Between the Towers, ich weiß nicht, ob das irgendjemand mal gehört hat, findet einmal im Monat statt, also in zwei Wochen wieder. Ist circa so groß wie das hier und findet immer mit Unterstützung vom Univator und der Goethe-Uni auf dem Campus Westend statt. Also herzlich willkommen, da hinkommen. Und das ist eigentlich der eigentliche Pitch, den wir jetzt weiterentwickeln. Wir wollten nicht nur ein Ökosystem, das alle zwei Wochen, alle vier Wochen stattfindet, sondern wir haben gesagt, wir brauchen ein riesengroßes Center und werden dafür auch nächste Woche, ist das, das ist ein bisschen Public Knowledge, schon langsam, vom Herrn Al-Wazir pitchen. Da sind noch neun andere Vorschläge dabei. Den Druck für die Veranstaltung machen wir noch später. Macht ihr gleich, ja, sorry, dann ziehe ich das von meiner Zeit wieder ab. Was ich so gemacht habe, das wird nächste Woche am 27. sein, auch für die Öffentlichkeit zugelassen, also gerne dahin kommen. Was haben wir vor? Wir wollen ein riesengroßes Center aufbauen, wie ihr zum Beispiel auch. Also es gibt unterschiedliche Vorschläge. Und wie der erste Redner heute gesagt hat, wir müssen das gemeinsam machen, wir dürfen nicht zu zerklüftet und versplittert sein. Wir müssen das an einem Standort machen, um das hier riesengroß zu machen, damit halt alle, die im Fintech-Bereich unterwegs sind, und das ist jetzt auch allgemein ein Pitch und nicht für mich, insofern ziehe ich das auch von der Zeit ab. Also wir müssen, wir müssen sorgen, dass, dafür sorgen, dass eben die Bankjobs oder die Jobs im Banking, dass sie auch in Zukunft in Frankfurt sind, dass die Leute nicht ins Ausland abwandern und dafür wollen wir nicht nur ein entsprechendes Center basteln, sondern das Ökosystem soll vor Ort sein, das heißt alle Beteiligten sollen da sein. Wir versuchen den Regulator dazu zu bringen, dass er ein Permanentbüro da hat, also viele unterschiedliche Ansätze äh, da fahren und wir hoffen, dass dann so viel wie möglich äh, die Leute da einziehen. Es wird auch ein Homeworking Space Ansatz sein. Äh, das ist nichts, was die Commerzbank betreibt, sondern wir haben und äh, ist die Initiative auch entstanden, äh, dass äh, eher so wie einen EV-Charakter angedacht, eben dass es allen hilft und deshalb ist es für alle offen. Genau das gleiche zählt auch bei unseren Investments, die wir machen. Wir würden nie aus dass eine andere Bank sich beteiligen darf oder eine andere Bank, die Produkte unseres Startups nutzen darf. Und jetzt bin ich voll über der Zeit, aber ich habe ja ein bisschen was abgezogen und würde sagen, vorher frei, ich habe ja vorhin auch schon, ähm, Mario äh, hat ja auch ein, zwei Mal mich verwiesen, ich weiß die Fragen leider nicht mehr genau, äh, zum Thema äh, mein Inkubator Investments. Ja, wir nehmen Anteile, äh, aber wir geben auch Geld rein, wie viel, 25.000 bis 2 Millionen pro Investment und das wird ähm, natürlich individuell verhandelt und ist nicht äh, irgendwie ein fixer Prozentsatz. Wir geben auch Pizza Money, wir haben aktuell jemanden, der hat sich auf unserer Homepage, da haben wir ein Thema ausgeschrieben, hat, äh, beworben, also der kam direkt von der äh, Uni, der kriegt Geld, um das so weit zu entwickeln mit unserer Unterstützung, dass er dann irgendwann im Investmentkomitee bei uns pitchen kann. Ja, habe ich vielleicht verpasst, gibt es eine Location? 
Äh, wir haben aktuell eine äh, Location für unseren Inkubator. Da ist auch Wimmon drin, wo wir zum Beispiel nicht äh, beteiligt sind. Sie werden sich ja. vielleicht auch freuen. Aber über du den sollst eine neue Idee Ja, ist selbstverständlich. Ist wesentlich größer äh, mit, ist im City West. Ähm, wie gesagt, in, in, am 27.01. wird sowieso vorgestellt. Das ist ein Gebäude, das gerade leer steht, aber ein sehr junges Gebäude ist. Äh, und das hat äh, Platz für, ich glaube, zwei, dreieinhalb Tausend äh, Arbeitsplätze. Wird 34.000 Quadratmeter haben und wird jegliche Möglichkeit zur Expansion bieten und auch den Etablierten die Möglichkeit zu bieten, an diesen Ort zu gehen, damit sich das alles gegenseitig befruchten kann und den Kamineffekt haben wird. Das ist unser Ziel, das sind die Visionen, auf die wir allen folgen und auch die Sponsoren davon. Ähm, bin ich ganz ehrlich, muss man sehen. Aber unsere Meinung ist, man muss das groß angehen äh, und ein richtig lautes Zeichen setzen, denn die äh, anderen Ortschaften äh, in der Welt zum Beispiel wird das in einem sehr groß als sozusagen ähm, Programme, die dann vorbereiten. Also ich, ich, ich mache jetzt mal den Kuba, ja, also Commerzbank Pitch. Das ist so, wir haben den mit der Comdirect den ich, ich, jetzt für links Pitch. Deshalb jetzt, wenn ich jetzt irgendwelche Folien habe, dann werde ich mal so machen. You know when the founders are pitching, they actually get yes. a fair level of uh, so I think you should keep yeah, it. Yeah, speak to you. Okay. <laughs> a very fair point. Anyway, thank you, Christian. And well, next on stage, it is Peter and Christopher of Spotman. Everybody ready again? Cool. Yeah, I'm Peter from um, Spotnik. I'm the founder and the CEO of um, this company. And uh, we are based in Frankfurt in the house of logistics and mobility. And um, these are our cowboys and cowgirls. Uh, it's a wide range of knowledge. Whoops. We have in our team and uh, one of our cowboys here is with me today. It's uh, Chris. <laughs> I say he ha. Yeah. And um, yeah, what 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 are we doing? We are um, on the one hand we are a consulting company. We are doing strategy, business consulting, and uh, change management and um, product management. And on the other hand. That's the reason why, uh, of course, uh, we are here today, um, is we are creating, designing, and developing products. And uh, because um, in many discussions with uh, our clients, they say, hey, Peter, we, we know a lot of things are going on, uh, new opportunities in the market, we want to have a share of it, and, uh, and by the way, in five years, we want to double our revenues. Yeah? You mentioned it was in December, we had this meeting, and I said, hey, great idea, yeah? 
uh, maybe in China it would work, but in Germany, yeah, you need a strategy. Yeah, that oh, fuck, yeah, sorry for that, but I'm a cowboy also. Um, and uh, in Germany, you, you, we are, we are the, the, the work is eating our time. We don't have time to develop our business model. Yeah? And how can you help us? Give us some, some impressions. Let's say, hey, it's easy. Yeah? First of all, work interdisciplinary. Second, spot and focus on your strengths. What are your strengths today? And how won't you transform it? Because when you are working in an ecosystem, um, you have to know what are your knowledge, what is your experience, and how can you bring your value into the ecosystem. Yeah? And the last, and I think the important one um, to be had is just do it. Yeah? Let's go into new markets, create new products, make it lean and start with it. Yeah? And uh, <laughs> that's the reason why we are here. Yeah? We have some projects and I like to hand over to Chris that he can give you an overview about what we are doing. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit more of an Indian instead of a cowboy. Maybe I'm not really fair. <laughs> so uh, spotting is basically a couple of things. It's a, I'm going to use the word IoT, that means Internet of Things, right? So spotting is basically an IoT market maker, and we're also an IoT factory. And in terms of being an IoT market maker, we're more like a consulting company. So we'll have a hospital, or we'll have an insurance broker come to us, and they say, we want to do an IoT project. So we'll go in there, and we'll bring together all the players that you need to make an IoT project happen, and that's not easy, obviously. And we're going to need some fintech solutions there. All right, so in terms of a hospital, we're going to be needing some horizontal fintech solutions. But if we're talking more like an insurance broker, you know, that's a financial industry, so we're going to be looking for working with uh, vertical uh, fintech solutions. So if you're a company that fits the needs of our customers, we'll bring you into, we'll bring you into one of our projects. And that might be a more developed solution. It might be an early stage solution. Um, we'll see what we need. Now, in terms of being an IoT uh, factory, that means that we're going to develop our own products, our own factories, uh, our, our own platforms. Um, and we're working, for example, uh, on working uh, on building a parking 4.0 platform. And we're working with a uh, large parking system uh, company here in Germany. Uh, and that's going to require some kind of fintech solution uh, in order to make all of that happen. Um, so if you're working with us, we're a little bit different than the other incubators, accelerators, whatever. You can already see that presented here. But if you're working with us, we can give you real life projects. We can give you real life profits. Um, we can give you the real life experience of working with clients. Uh, we'll give you uh, mentoring, of course, if you're part of our project. Um, and um, we're basically a marketing channel for you to achieve revenues, um, and to improve your product. Thank you. So some questions? Um, if I understand it correctly, um, if I've got an idea that fits into your business model on the IoT side, you will build a product for me, is that right? Do you have one? Yes. Are you a fit tech? What do you do? <laughs> Not publicly. <laughs> um, uh, the question was, do you build a product? Yes, of course. We are, we are building products. Yeah? And what, do we, get, what, what do you and, get in return? And, um, and we are, what, what we are looking for is to in, integrate um, a fintech as a, part of, uh, as a part of the solution, as a function. For example, um, um, parking 4.0. Exam, yeah, um, the mobile payment. Need a payment is, yeah, yeah. And we need to comp it. Ideally, it would be that we have um, um, a mobile payment solution we can put it onto the platform as a function. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if somebody is into an, in, in the park house and want to pay, <coughs> that he can do it directly via the app or via the uh, um, an RFID code in the car. Yeah, to give an example. And we're building our own solutions in terms of the I, in terms of being like a factory, IoT factory, as opposed to an IoT market maker. So if we're an IoT factory, that means the uh, uh, partners we bring in, like that uh, uh, parking system provider, that's like an investor as well. So there'll be some money there to invest also in solutions that still need to be developed. 
Whereas if we're talking about an IT market maker, where we're just a, kind of a consulting company, where if you have like a hospital that wants to build a solution with us, if you have a ready-made solution, we're just bringing you the project, 100% of the profits are yours. Right? Are you focused on some topics like logistics, yeah. or are you open to any topic and finance solutions for, for any topic and business idea? So I think the four, the four verticals that we're looking at mainly, mainly is financials, healthcare, mobility, and security. But within the <coughs> verticals, we, you know, we're, we're open to, it, it depends on the project that we're working on, building, yeah. right? but we're open to anything. Right? You know, so it, you know, we want to talk to you, find out what it is that you do, and we'll see if it fits with the project that we're doing. And we have some projects going on right now where we're looking specifically for services. Exactly. I suppose you two guys can have a chat later on. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Next on stage, Guy, you might have seen him at our very first meetup by then presenting a little fintech pack up he wants then. And now he wants to prevent you from fucking up a company by showing you Start Zero, I suppose. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, thank you very much for um, the warm welcome, and it's lovely to see that there are so many people in Frankfurt actually trying to boost the whole startup scene here in the ecosystem. Um, I think a year and a half ago, something like this couldn't have happened if there wasn't people like, like Yasin or uh, Felix. And that's exactly what we're um, trying to yeah, foster a little bit. So, uh, my name is Kim, I'm 31, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a serial entrepreneur, I started in 2009 my first company, Fuck up like shit and uh, started the next one, got a uh, little business agent side and yeah, now I'm in a consultancy called Black Chicken and one of our, the, or the biggest project we're actually doing is Star Zero. Why better together? Um, Star Zero aims to become the place to go for the local startup scene. Um, that means in terms of an online database, you just go there, you, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm founder in this and that area, I'm searching for this and that contact, and you get information directly on the online database, um, who's like your contact in the business. On the other hand side, and this is the more important thing for us actually, uh, right here in Frankfurt, you need to have a physical hub, like the place to go, the door to walk through, and to know that there is your ecosystem, that there are your people, who you can talk to, who can redirect you to the right contacts in the, in the network of the local ecosystem. So, what's the problem we were seeing like one and a half years ago when I tried to bring the Founder Institute, an education program overseas from America here to Frankfurt? Um, we had like 50 euros of uh, Facebook marketing budget and we reached 250 people. So we saw with a little money you can um, like achieve really much if you have a topic in the whole ecosystem with, you know, which attracts the people here. So the, the main thing was that we saw that there are so many players in the ecosystem doing their things. We have a lot of them and they're, they're pretty good for themselves, but to like combine them, to put them together, this is like the goal we have. So you have like really good islands, we call them, um, working on their own and working um, on their goals. But uh, in, in order to really boost an ecosystem, which can't be created normally, we think, in our days, um, you have to combine it in a platform. And that's the Star Zero platform we're actually looking for. This is a, this is a, a building where the information, the education, the acceleration phase should be um, focused and should be um, located in. What's the information phase? The information is the whole events and networking. All of this, we try to build a place, like perhaps a bigger place too, where bigger events can, can come and um, have a cheap place where they can have that events where the whole networking ideation phase takes place, where you come as a founder, you have no idea where to go, what to do. The first thing you do, you have to do, is to go to networking events, to, to test your idea with people, like real people, you know. And um, the next phase is when you're, you have your network, you have your idea proven, you go to the education phase. You have to learn the tools and methods, for instance, Lean Startup, who doesn't know it. Um, you have to, to learn how to think like a startup, like a founder. If you have your idea, perhaps your team, you have the education, you go through the acceleration phase. Like, you know, for instance, Ram said, um, you need to have capital to boost your, your idea um, over a certain amount of time to test it, to get your um, 
where your, your proof of concept is. The next phase is incubation. Um, we heard incubators here, like uh, the FinTech lab from the FinTech um, group. Um, this is the part where we think this is none of our business. But we are a platform, that means, we talked early on, if there are some good people coming out of an accelerator, for, uh, for instance, you redirect them to the focused and specialized incubator, which is fit for your idea, for your team, for your stage, for your needs. That's <coughs> our, our goal, to just pick you up from the very bottom and guide you through all these stages to, um, yeah, to form your idea, to get better, to get faster, actually. This is accompanied by media investors, of course, um, which we um, try to foster as well this network of investors in media. This is the whole online platform, the whole yeah, database thinking. So the market potential, actually, I know it sounds a little crazy, but we can start in Frankfurt and we have a vision for Europe. Basically, in the end of 2014, um, Mr. Jeff Pavi from SoftTech Soft VC said, we have um, a European potential because to compete with Asia or the US, you have to do it like European buy. So the ecosystem has to be European. We should take a step back. We want to help you from right from the start. Um, we don't take equity. We offer you space. We offer you event space. We offer you the programs, the network. And um, that's our um, main goal. So this is actually what we're trying to do. A co-working space with a cafe with a future of work concept that means co-working and flexible workspace and a big event space for all, for all the, the verticals you see here. And within the verticals, you have like the whole network you're trying to connect. So basically, we're building up this and connect all the players in the ecosystem. <coughs> Start zero uh, underline FMM. Uh, do you already have startups now? Uh, Sorry? Do you already have startups in your Start Zero program? Or? Okay, Start Zero is <laughs> at the moment, we started a year ago with this whole project, and since then we <coughs> try to start. Uh, it has taken some, <laughs> yeah, how can I say it? We have some difficulties in convincing all the players that this like structural basic approach is needed for Frankfurt. Um, we have this bottom up and top down thing, you know? Um, top down, everyone says we have capital, we have some startups, let's just do it. From the bottom, you see that there's need much more. You need this basic approach, this, this whole a place to go, this network, this, these, the, the connection makers at one place to grow such a thing. So basically, the project is there, like um, Christian from, um, my incubator said on the 27th there will be an open pitch at the University of Frankfurt. They will we'll talk about it later. And uh, they will be deciding which concept wins, and this concept is one of the pitch. All the best. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Awesome. Yeah, I, sorry, you mentioned that you had like <coughs> another startup before that wasn't yeah. like, successful. But like, if you imagine like looking back, if you would have had start zero, how, how would start zero have helped you be more successful with whatever you did before? And I didn't pay him, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> you owe me a beer. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I do, I do. So you can take from behind it. It's not free anymore, you know. That's why I said you owe me Next time. No, um, um, <laughs> seriously. Um, this is a pretty good question because actually my first startup took me like one and a half years to go off. Uh, because I knew no one here in Frankfurt. It was actually FinTech 2009, the, in the crisis of the financial markets, and I started with two guys from Munich and Zurich, so they haven't had a uh, network here in Frankfurt. The thing is, uh, if I had something like Strasbourg, I went through that door, I said, I have a FinTech idea, I have a partner here, and I have a partner there, what can I do? And all the people there, like here in the Centrale, um, were into the whole startup topic. And you have people there, like with the network, with the knowledge, with the... With Right now, the real estate market in Berlin is performing better than ours in Frankfurt, and this is, this is embarrassing. I can't eat good apples. That's why. Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
next time. Maybe you'll love it. What I like about the, the concept, and when we look at level 39, right, it, it, it's not so similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real estate uh, with, 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 with pushing it. So, how much is level 39? I think it's, a, it's an interesting one because it's also very central. I mean, it's, for those of you who don't know it, it's in London, uh, Canary Wharf. It's in one of these corporate banking buildings, uh, level 39, obviously. It, it's the, it was designed and set up and sponsored by the, by the owner of the building, um, but it has a lot of attention globally. And it's, I think, considered to be one of these accelerator, you know, startup uh, programs in, in, in London. Yeah. I think it could be a good example. I, I personally, I mean, I think it's a bit more too corporate, maybe, uh, in terms of the, the fit out and, 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 you know, I like sometimes spaces that are more, yeah, more entrepreneurial in the end. Yeah? But I think it could be a good example for, you know, being really central, being at the spot, uh, have all the attention, and then also all the support from the, from the, uh, yeah, from the companies in the market. So what, what I wanted to say is, I mean, they were really, you know, like, like pushing this uh, issue, you know, yeah. I mean, in their own interest, for their health, you know, their yeah. 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 So to what extent are you then also willing to push? Absolutely. It sounds like... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the whole concept, and you may wonder, you know, we're, 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 we're pitching here buildings that are in the heart of the banking district. Obviously, I mean, you, we don't expect someone to pay banking district rents. Yeah? So this is obviously part of our concept to sponsor and to, to promote these concepts that this is affordable and financially feasible. Um, because in the end, we expect this bus, we expect to, you know, to companies grow, that, that, that this also helps our buildings. Yeah. All right, for some expandability, because uh, in one of these meetups, the, the issue was raised that when you have like a two year or five year lease, you don't know how many people you, you will have, and either you start to place so the empty yep. office with can we pick that one up as the first question or the second? Because I think this would be good for them. This is something sure. we could ask at any of the initiatives that are actually offering space for the case. Okay. okay, so I say thank you very much, guys. event coming up next week and about the state level and the Ministry of Economics being involved. So may I please ask Stefan Breit to come to the stage because I think he has something to tell you about the event next week. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having the opportunity to talk to you. It's been impressive uh, to see all these ideas and concepts from your side and I see many faces of who I've already talked to. So it's, it's fine for me to be here. And um, I'm from the Ministry of Economic Affairs in the state of Hessen, and um, we are considering and looking for ideas how to, in the best and most effective way, support the development of a fintech hub in Frankfurt. And um, we have learned from our past that different economic development programs, some have been more successful than others. And uh, at this point, we want to be successful with the fintech program, and so. Um, we had the idea to, to have a pitch of, uh, like this one has been mentioned next week at Goethe University, organized together with different partners, Goethe University, City of Frankfurt, and others. And uh, we want to learn from all your ideas about what needs to be done for an effective ecosystem in Frankfurt, because that's what we understand it's all about. And we've seen there are many initiatives from very different sides. Um, there are some We've seen accelerators, incubators, uh, others um, from your side, Fish and Spire and others. And um, so it's our ideas about next week, getting the ideas and concepts of those who want to really be in a process and build a, build a hub where many of different concepts can flow in, not, not only single out one, but maybe we can create a roof or some uh, other concept where many other incubators, accelerators can join in and find their place. We have no concept ready yet, but that's what we want to understand from you and learn what, what could be the most interesting thing. Many, maybe, maybe in the end we have many different concepts and incubators. But uh, it's on 27th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Goethe University, and I would be happy if many of you come. 
and give us also feedback afterwards uh, on what you think might be the right way to go. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Um, we'll have Oliver announcing a nice event coming up for one minute, then let's take deep breath, open some windows, and then let's go into the discussion, I think. Seats are limited, so uh, please <laughs> uh, don't be, don't blame me if I if I can't invite you. Um, it's uh, close to the uh, main uh, railway station. Uh, we're going to do some uh, some uh, discussions there as well. We're going to have uh, Felix as well. We're going to have Max as well there. Uh, so please join us. Go to our website fintech headquarter de slash kickoff and sign up. Register there, and we'll uh, get back to you. Uh, we don't have a gin bar there as well, so uh, you should be happy with it, and you're all welcome. Thank you very much. And we got we got some elevator pitches for for startups. There's only three left, so uh, please sign up and tell us if you want to pitch there as well. An elevator pitch. It's not public, so it's something that we we do some uh, videos, and we gotta uh, do some. Um, uh, um, well, it's, it's, it's kind of a, a it's kind of a battle, so you should be surprised. Thank you very much. Small break, five minutes. There's a break here. In, uh, yeah. Buy some drinks outside. Buy some drinks. Sorry, guys. For cheap prices, the host will be very, very happy with it. Yeah. And then we start the discussion. Yeah. Yeah.